will solve problems that are related to the zena regulator in the previous video we have discussed about a zena diode network keeping both input voltage and the load resistor to be constant and we have defined all the unknown parameters with two different steps that was involved for a basic zener diode network analysis and now in this video we will purely concentrate on two different types of regulation that is involved with the zener diode one is the load regulation where we keep the input voltage to be fixed and load resistance to be varied and in the line regulation the load resistance will be kept constant and the input voltage will vary and in both the cases my output voltage across the zener diode is going to be the same as long as the load resistance is maintained above a minimum value so that we will discuss and also we will solve two problems one is with respect to load and the line regulation this is a very basic zener voltage regulator where we have kept both the input voltage and the load resistance rl to be fixed and we have done the analysis and solved one problem with respect to the zener diode in the previous video the video link is shared in the description box below and in the i button please do watch that video for basic understanding of the zener voltage regulator and now we will move on for the next step where we are going to vary one parameter and observe what happens to the voltage across the zener diode whether it is going to act again as a voltage regulator so that we are going to observe first we will start a discussion with fixed vi and variable rl where at the variable resistance i have shown here and this is nothing but a load regulation discussion so due to the zener voltage there is a specific range of resistor values that will ensure the zener diode is in the on state so too small a load resistance will definitely result in a voltage vl across the load resistor that is less than v is it and we have also discussed that case in the first video of zener diode and we understood that the zener device will be in the off state when the voltage across the load resistor is less than the v is it so please do watch that video for better understanding when the zener diode will be in the on state and in the off state so therefore to determine the minimum load resistance that has to be maintained to turn on this zener diode we need to simply calculate the value of rl that will result in a load voltage vl equal to vz and we know how to calculate vl which will be equal to vz equal to rl because across rl only we need to find out so this will be r plus rl into vi and solving for rl will give us the rl minimum value that has to be maintained for the zener diode to be in on state so this will give us r into vz divided by vi minus vz any load resistance value greater than the rl obtained from this equation will ensure that the zener diode is in the on state and the diode can be simply replaced by its vz source equal so this also we have done in the previous video please do watch that again and again i'm stressing upon because only when you understand the concept of fixed vi and fixed rl you can understand what happens in the load regulation when we vary rl so the condition that was specified by this equation which states the minimum load resistance will give us the maximum load current because when the resistance is low the current across this load resistor will be maximum so therefore rl minimum will give us il max and that can be determined by vl by rl and vl will be equal to vz and rl will be your rl minimum once the diode is in the on state the voltage across this r remains fixed therefore vr we can write it as vi minus vz because this is a closed loop once you apply kvl you will be having minus vi plus vr plus vz sum of all the voltages across this loop will be equal to 0 and therefore from this we can easily identify vr will be equal to vi minus vz and therefore the voltage vr is fixed then definitely ir can be determined from vr which is vr by capital r and the zener current also we can identify by applying k 
KCL to this junction, that also I have explained. I is that will be equal to I R minus I L, and this will result in a minimum Zener current when I L is a maximum value because we have R L to be minimum. Therefore, I L will be maximum. Okay, and a minimum I Z can be obtained. And the same time, maximum I Z is possible when I L is minimum, since I R is a constant value because this R is a constant. So therefore, I R will be constant. And this equation mainly results in minimum I Z because I L is maximum. And R L is minimum. Since I Z is limited to I Z rating, which means the standard maximum current rating of the Zener diode, which will be provided in the data sheet, so that it does not affect the range of R L and therefore I L. Therefore, substituting I Z M for I Z, which will establish as the minimum I L. And the maximum load resistance as follows. So from this equation, we can rewrite the I L minimum is equal to I R minus I Z M, and the maximum load resistance is also given as V Z by I L minimum because when R L is maximum, my I L will be in minimum value. So now let us solve problem that is related to fixed V I and variable R L, where we have the Zener diode network that is shown here, and we need to estimate the range of R L and I L that will result in a constant V R L to be maintained at 10 volt. And in the second part, we need to determine the maximum voltage rating of the Zener diode. As we have discussed the theory part, and we have also derived all the equations which are related to solving this particular problem, I have just taken all the problems that I have told previously, where R L minimum we have understood that it is R into V Z by V I minus V Z, and we know all the values are given in the circuit itself. So just substituting that will give us the minimum load resistance to be 250 ohms, and we need to find out the range of R L. And I L so that V R L will be maintained at 10 volts. Okay, so now to find out the voltage across the resistor, also we know according to K V L when we apply to that particular closed loop, we get V R is equal to V I minus V Z, and I R can be obtained from V R by R. And the minimum load current formula is also known, where it is I R minus I Z M, which is specified in the circuit. And I R we have recently found, and with that we can estimate the minimum load current will be 8 milliamps. So we have found out what is the minimum load resistance and the minimum load current. Now it's time to find out what is the maximum load resistance. So which is V Z by I L minimum that will give us 1.25 kilo ohms. So now we have found out R L maximum. So the range of R L is varying from 250 ohms to 1.25 kilo ohms. And similarly, we need to estimate the range of I L, where I L is starting from the minimum value of 8 milliamps to the maximum of 40 milliamps. So whatever we have estimated, I have just plotted it with respect to the V L load voltage. Because we need to maintain the load voltage at constant 10 volt. That is the requirement from the problem statement. But whatever be the change in the R L, so the range of R L varies from 250 ohms to 1.25 kilo ohm. So once the Zener diode has maintained its minimum load resistance of 250 ohms, above which you can obtain a constant V L to be maintained as 10 volt for this problem. And similarly. When R L changes from its minimum to maximum value, I L will also take its change, and that ranges from 8 milliamps to 40 milliamps. And again, during that time also, my 10 volt is constantly maintained. And the second part is we need to find out the power dissipated by the Zener diode, which is V Z into I Z M. All the values are given, and therefore it is 320 milliwatts. So this is one problem that is related to fixed V I and variable R L, which gives us or helps us to understand about the load regulation. So even when the load resistance is changing, we are able to maintain a constant load voltage of 10 volt across the Zener diode. So therefore, during this case also, the Zener diode acts as a perfect 
voltage regulator so now let us start a discussion with variable vi and fixed rl and for fixed values of rl the voltage vi must be sufficiently large to turn the diode on so the minimum turn on voltage first let us understand that vi will be equal to vi minimum that can be determined from the usual voltage division rule that we apply to calculate vl which is equal to vz which is equal to rl into vi by rl plus r and from this we can identify what is vi which will be vz into rl plus r divided by rl and the maximum value of vi will be limited by the maximum zener current i is it f and by kvl we also know how to understand what is ir ir will be equal to i z plus i l because sum of currents entering the junction will be equal to sum of currents leaving the junction so with that we can calculate what is i z and that is nothing but my i z m which will be equal to i r minus i l and from here we can find out what is the maximum current through this resistance i r max will be equal to i z m plus i l since i l is fixed at v z by r l and i z m being the maximum value of zener current i z and the maximum vi vi max will be defined as vr max plus v z because this is also according to kvl we understand that vi minus vr minus v z will be equal to zero so from this we can identify what is vi which is equal to vr plus v z so vr will be maximum and vi maximum we are going to find out which will be vr max plus v z and vr max can be again rewritten as ir maximum into capital r now let us solve one problem that is related to this line regulation where we have variable vi and the fixed rl is what we call it as line regulation and here we need to determine the range of values of vi that will maintain the zener diode shown in the network to be in the on state we are given with r equal to 220 ohms v z is maintained at 20 volts i z m the maximum zener current rating is also given as 60 milliamps and the load resistance is given as 1.2 kilo ohms with this we need to determine the range of values of vi for which the zener diode will maintain the constant 20 volt value as we have discussed all the formulas that are related to the line regulation we know how to calculate vi minimum with this formula all the values are given just substitute to obtain vi minimum and similarly il will be vl by rl and vl will be here is equal to vz and with that we can obtain il equal to 16.67 milliamps and the maximum ir can be obtained from i is at m plus il all these equations i have told previously and we have to substitute in here directly to obtain ir maximum now our final objective is to find out the maximum vi because initially we have found out vi minimum and now it's our objective to find out the maximum vi so that we can draw the sketch between vi versus vl where we can easily understand the range of values of vi and vi max the formula is ir max into r plus v is it having all those values my maximum input value is 36.87 volt so when you change the range of input values from 23.67 to 36.87 the load voltage across the zener diode will be constantly maintained at 20 volt so this is what we have understood from the line regulation hope this video was useful where we have solved two problems one is with respect to the load regulation and the other one is with respect to the line regulation of the zener diode so for both the cases we have seen how the load voltage across the load resistance is going to be maintained constant because of the usage of zener diode in the particular network so stay tuned until then thank you all for watching this video through electronics inside channel